this is properly huge. This might be one of the most important videos on Stargate I've ever done. And if you're a regular side trekker, you'll know we've dropped some bombs over the last two years. This one is nuclear. Welcome to Side Trek, your sci fi TV and movie channel. So, let me give you a little bit of background before I tell you what's going on. So, about six months ago, I randomly got um, an email from an executive at MGM, or their assistant, to be fair, their assistant. Um, and there was a little bit of communication. They reported to me at that time that they were looking for um, YouTube channels that they could sort of have a bit of communication through. They wanted some uh, positive relations out there in the social media land. And they had identified Sidetrack because we've been dropping everything on Stargate for two years, two and a half years, um, as somebody they'd like to speak to. So, no, there was a little bit of communication. I've now found out about a month ago, no, God, it's not even that long ago now, about two weeks ago, um, that that actually was just a sort of a little bit of a preamble towards this conversation. So I suddenly got an email from a different person's assistant. Um, I was able to have a conversation with them. I found out a lot about this person. I was basically offered um, either the opportunity to have a conversation where I wouldn't be able to name them and it would just have to go under the rumour category, or we can actually have a interview, a conversation on camera. Uh, I ummed and ahed about it. I asked you guys on Sidetrack what you thought I should do. Um, and there was, you know, a bit of disagreement. But what has been agreed is that I can have an off the record conversation now that I have to report as a unanimous source. Anonymous source? Anonymous source. I think I said unanimous, but an anonymous source. Um, but they have agreed that once things start to get announced, they will come and do a live show on Sidetrack with us. So uh, his ba he basically said to me, look, we can't have a Sidetrack announcing, making the world announcements on these things. It has to be done on our terms. But we do want to build those relationships and we do want to get a little bit of excitement hopefully going around Stargate again, because it is obviously waning. People are getting a bit bored of waiting for this. So we want to have you and maybe a couple of other channels. I'm thinking other channels might get involved. Um, apparently not one of the bigger gate channels uh, because there's a th there's personal issues there. Why not? Apparently, won't go into, not fair. But there will be conversations potentially with other channels as well. Um, and they want to start building up a little bit more excitement around this announcement so what is happening okay so i was supposed to have a meeting with this guy yesterday this was supposed to be at about four o'clock yesterday um pacific time um but that got delayed he got delayed so it got pushed back and they i just got a message saying he's going to give you a call um he'd forgotten i'm british <laughs> and he phoned me at half one in the morning my wife was very impressed but I did have a 20 minute, 30 minute conversation with him. We had a little bit of a quick chat and he's gave me a quick brief update of where they are right now, which I'm going to share with you in a minute. He did agree as well that we're going to meet again next week. Hopefully Harris will be able to jump in on that chat and we're going to be able to ask him whatever questions we want. So he has to be unanimous, <laughs> anonymous for now. Um, but he will come on the channel live once things have been announced. So what was he able to tell me yesterday? This is good. This is important. Basically, he's told me that, yes, MGM Plus are working on a Stargate television series that is planned to go into pre-production this summer. Now, my first question was, well, has that changed over the last 12 months? And he said, no. It was always the plan that it would go into pre-production this summer. The idea being that the series would then hit our screens roughly summer or autumn 2025. The point being there that it was always supposed to follow the planned movie. Now, Amazon have been talking about a movie with people like Deadline and stuff for a while. They've always said, look, we're doing this. We're thinking about a movie first. There's loads of... Um, 
stars come out and said that Amazon are working on a movie. I think Joseph Malozzi even said it at one point, even though he now says the deal's dead. I've got people's hair sticking up there, look at that. Um, it, it was generally known within the industry and it was starting to leak out more and more that yes, Stargate was going to come back as a big cinematic movie or even a series of movies. That has gone quiet. The plan I hear, before I go on to tell you a bit more about what he told me, the plan I hear sort of went quiet last summer. During the strikes, the decision was made to pull the movie. The movie was basically put into pre-pre-production um, in February, March last year. Um, I'm even told there was some of the early work done physically building models and things. Um, they spent anything up to 10 million quid on that movie development idea. Um, that was like getting consultants and thing, doing things like paying Mark Fergus to do a script, which apparently did happen. Um, and um, a lot of that early work. That has been scrapped. We, As it stands today, there will be no cinematic movie. But what will we be getting? Well, apparently the movie was always going to be a standalone Stargate project. So it was not going to necessarily uh, have a lot to do with the series. Um, it wouldn't have been a preamble for the series. It wouldn't have set a lot up for it. So it hasn't changed their plans over MGM+. Plus. According to my source, this has always been a bit of a Mike Wright project. It's been a passion project for him. It's something he knows he desperately wants to, to get MGM Plus to that next level. That's something we already knew. And um, it really is going to be the crown jewel for MGM Plus in 2025 as part of the plans that Amazon have to make MGM Plus worldwide for one. It's still just MGM over here, but it'll be MGM Plus internationally and to really start pushing the MGM brand more heavily um, under Prime. So Prime will be still their premium channel. Freevee is going to also have a lot more effort put into it to get new projects and interesting projects on there as well. Um, but then MGM will be sort of like in line with Freevee. It'll be their um, premium secondary channel, if that makes sense. Um, Studio Canal and a couple of other projects um, and a couple of other things will be absorbed into MGM Plus. So it'll really be there. It'll be like BBC Two over here in America. <laughs> over here in Britain, sorry, firm, you know what I mean? It'll be there second main channel. MGM Plus, as I said, have always been planning for this and those plans have not changed regardless of the movie. Mark Fergus is not apparently involved in this TV show, in this any of this development, and he never was. Mark Fergus's involvement was always planned to be around the movie and the creation of the Bible that is in development sort of thing. They will be using that work that Mark Fergus did 18 months ago, a year ago, to frame the Stargate a revival. And that was the word the source used repeatedly, the Stargate revival. Now that's important because it means it won't be a hard reboot. But that'll be one of the questions, obviously, I'll be more specific when he doesn't phone me in the middle of the night. So when we have that conversation next week. I need you guys now to get into the comments. Um, I know you already have done a little bit, but get into the comments now and tell me what questions you want me to ask this guy. Be very specific, be realistic. Try to remember that there are certain things he's not going to be able to say. For example, he told me there is a production partner for this, MGM, a grand production partner, but he wouldn't tell me who it is because he says that's, that's, that's going too far and it's not actually been signed. So it could go sideways yet anyway. But he said that that's... Because I'll tell you as much as I can, but don't push it. <laughs> um, so be realistic in what we're asking. One of the things I will be asking is why was Brad Wright and not involved? Why was that decision made and when was that decision made? That's one of the questions I'm going to be asking, definitely. But get into the comments and realistically give me questions you think this guy will be able to answer. And then hopefully around June or July, we'll actually be able to have him live following San Diego Comic Con. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. So get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. And give me those questions. If you are new to the channel and you love Stargate in particular, I think we're going to be talking about it a lot more in the next six months. Not that we haven't talked about it a lot already, but I really think we're going to be able to start talking about hard facts rather than just the rumours and the insider information we've been getting. We're actually beginning 
start talking about hard facts. Um, we are the Stargate channel. We just are. Um, we've been the guys telling you everything's been going on for two and a half years. And if you love Stargate, please share the video with other people that are like-minded and let's start building a community here, even more than we already have done, of hardcore Stargate fans that are desperate for this to come back. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, do all those youtube -y things. I'm going to try and get some sleep. You might notice I'm a little tired because somebody woke me up in the middle of the night, so I'm going to go have a nap. Go over to patreon.com where most of our videos do premiere first as well. Patreon.com forward slash Cedric. I'm, I'm just very excited. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.